those guys, that guy and girl are awesome. So anyway. Wow, we, we have a rowdy, we have a rowdy fan already. It's awesome. We're just about ready, we're figuring it out. You guys having a good time so far? So, so anyway, so there's probably enough of you guys here who've been to a Mystery Road show before. So, um, when I say have a good time, you guys need to say all the time. So let's try it. Have a good time. It's gonna be debaucherous tonight. And I even wore my SpongeBob boxers. So anything can happen. See you This is our farewell show. So uh, this is this is the end of the road for us. So uh, anyway, uh, but it's, it's 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 all good. Like we still like each other. At least I think they like me still. But uh, uh, I'm moving to Atlanta with my lovely partner, who got a great job working for the CDC. Uh, she just finished grad school. So her name is Dr. L now. And one of my favorite things to do is turn my head and cough. I love that. <laughs> I just wanted to say that in front of an audience, it's awesome. But anyway, but like I said, so it's kind of bittersweet though, but uh, without going too long into this, uh, the cave was my home when I first moved here back in uh, 2003, and nobody would give me a gig but the cave. And that says a lot, because uh, uh, this has been the place I've come back to more times than any video I've ever played, and they've always been really great to me. My band Mystery Road here, we debuted here at the cave, and we've just had great shows, show after show, and the cave has always been awesome. So uh, thanks for having us out. Let's hear for the cave and Mass. And uh, here's to supporting live music, uh, local music, and local arts. So, uh, where's our drummer? What's going on? All the time! <laughs> Cello problems. All the time. Cello problems all the time. It's always the cello player. So anyway, while they're getting the cello taken care of, I'm also going to tell a quick story that like uh, Alana and I actually met about uh, two and a half years ago, maybe about three, almost a little over three years ago now. And um, uh, this was just a pipe thing for us. We sat in my driveway one night and tried to figure out if we could even do a band. And yeah, you know, a few years later, here we are. And so we're extremely happy to be playing for you guys. And we thank y'all for all the support. So, uh, and I might get naked later. So stick around. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to go a little lower. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee it. If not, this guy right here will give you your money back. Your glasses. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are Mystery Road. Let me hear you scream for me, Chapel Hill.
Pass a little something up here. Well, first of all, we got a little something for their travels so they don't go hungry on their way to Atlanta. Here you go, This is the first thing. And then a little special something because he's so pretty. Oh, man. We love you, buddy. Oh, man, can you smoke this? Oh, I'm so beautiful. We're so beautiful tonight. I hope this nasty pictures of me on the internet won't get my title taken away. <laughs> Man, I got fifty dollars to Cracker Barrel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking country fried steak, baby. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Dude, you gotta hold those flowers the rest of the gig, you know. Good luck playing your guitar. <laughs> Can I get like a whiskey bottle or something? <laughs> Man, what a great band. Let me hear, let's hear it for uh, the rest of the band, Mr. Uh, here. Yeah. Let's hear it again for Don DeLamont. 
And uh, without further ado, I'm actually going to introduce the band right now. So, over here, I always start out, like, over here. Well, where do I start at? Do I usually start over here? Let's start over here. Actually, you know what? Michael always goes last. We'll start with Michael. Back here on the drums. One of the best drummers I've ever played with. Awesome guy. He makes his own beer. He's kick-ass. He looks great in a thong. Michael Sell on the drums. And he might show you his song later if you guys are good. So buy him a beer and you might get a show. Over here to my right. One of my partners in crime for the longest time. She's put up with all my shit and my attitude, my bipolarness and everything else. Uh, on the cello, looking ever sexy and making the cello sexy. Lady E. Alana Shiny. And she plays the glockenspiel too. The $14 glockenspiel from Musician's Room. Over here to my left. A man who needs almost no introduction, but my brother from a different mother. I wrote his Papa Jeffers on the bass guitar. That's like the coolest name in rock and roll. I wrote his Papa Jeffers. I don't even hyphenate it anymore. I just say it all as one word. That's gonna be my, that's gonna be my next email address. It's gonna be that word, with just the name all like in a line. So anyway, so we're, uh, we're going to carry on. We're going to do a song called uh, uh, that I actually wrote about and at a Waffle House. It's called Rough Stop for the Lonely. Let's try that again. Wardrobe malfunction. Thank you. 
Kylie, thank you. Try to change that time to change out the headgear real quick. I got my headgear stuck. I'll never be able to drink out the water fountain. Oh no, party foul! Right? Oh, it's still in my beer. It was Fred the Ghost. Or was it Ghost Face? Some good states that came and took my water. Alright, next song we're gonna do is a song that was written by our bass player, Desire Rhodes, Papa Jeffers. No words on John wrote the music. Alright, I sat around in my room and uh you know, partake and partook in some things and uh wrote this killer song. Have a good time. Hey, yeah, y'all make my pants tight. I love y'all. sing a couple. So uh, we're going to let her uh, take this school spiel here and uh, I'm going to shut up and drink my beer. <laughs> Alright, so this next song uh, is uh, written for my father in uh, what was my attempt to be a, an uplifting attempt to uh, speak to the, his current struggles with dementia and it's called Ode to Dad. Thank you. 
We were conversing.
over here. All right, so here's the deal, real quick. Before we go to the next song, like I actually paid to have like these mystery rig guitar picks made like a while back, and I still have like a ton of them left, so I'm gonna start throwing them. So you guys keep them, catch them. Oh, there you go. And if you don't catch one, I have plenty more. I'll give you one of the show. But uh, yeah, anyway. watch this is great. Right here, let's see. I get, let's see if I get something like that. Fan, you got a strong fan. Let's try, let's try another one. Oh, you got it. Let's try another one. Who wants it? Okay. God, okay, now if this was Kiss, you guys would be all like taking your panties off, okay? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's try this. If it were Kiss, we wouldn't be here. Oh, man, that one was, yeah, if this was Kiss, you wouldn't be here. Yeah, thanks. Full <laughs> of honesty. It's great. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. Another Lady E song for you. Who wants another Lady E song? <laughs> Have a good time. for professionalism. <laughs> yeah, if we were kids, we wouldn't be playing harmonicas. Alright, now let's try it.
All right, thank you very much. Maybe on the vocals later here. Yeah, have a good time. Hey, so one more time, let's hear it for a Virgin Heiress. Who like, completely melt my face every time I see them. They melt my face. So like the, the, actually, the face. it was so funny because the first time we ever saw Virgin and I actually met them. I don't even remember, but we, Ira and I actually, like many nights, were uh, <laughs> kind of in a weird mindset. I decided to go out and do something. So we decided to come to the cave. And it was like a, it's like a Thursday night or something like that. And, and we came out and we had no idea who was playing. And we just heard this band Birds and Arrows was playing. We are like, with the description. And we are like, oh, that sounds pretty good. So we went. And we were totally floored. Afterwards, we were like, oh, we to buy a CD. And we bought a CD. We were like, we play our first gig. We, did, we totally got to play with them. And so anyway. And we did. And the rest is history. Or if you kiss, it's history. <laughs> By the way, I mean, I should, I should be like, be talking like Paul Stanley. People are having a good time. Y'all like some cold gin? Yeah, yeah. Right. I do the, I do the worst Paul Stanley ever, man. God, I do the worst Paul Stanley, and I do the worst Bruce Dickinson for Iron Maiden because I, I like my British accent sounds like. Let's hear it. Okay, I'm trying to think. Oh, <laughs> Alright, hit me up later for that. I'll have to work on it. Someone get this guy a beer. Yeah, yeah. If you, someone get me another beer and I'll do one later. Bruce Dickinson coming up later, folks. So now you got a reason to stick around. So. Alright, so the next song we're going to do is a song that's probably going to be pretty true and not too much longer. A song called Drunk on Sunday. This is basically a song that I wrote for like all the old school folkies and blues guys who like, you know those guys who like, you know like, I don't know like, Blind Boy Jackson or so whatever his name is from like Mobile, Alabama who like everybody stole all his shit and they got huge and he's like still playing some little corner bar in like Mississippi somewhere or Alabama and like no teeth in his face but like, you know, he still does it because he loves it. That might be me, but I have benefits, so I'll keep my teeth. So I'll get drunk on Sunday. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'll work on that Bruce Dickens for I wasn't all 
the rage Or the week's biggest trend They just put me in the corner With a jar and a few PBRs You might say Is anybody, is anyone in here an Iron Man fan at all? No. Oh, oh, oh shit, man. You, you, you don't count. I've watched Iron Man bootlegs with this guy. This guy is hardcore. <laughs> You're the Ryan of the Egg Shit Man, Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Ah, see? Bye bye. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna cry because it's still there. <laughs> So I have to tell this story real quick. So I found out the other, I found out like earlier this month. Um, well, so anyway, so we're selling our house, and uh, we, our house has actually been sold. But this real estate agent came in, and she had an open house for us, and she had this big plate of muffins, and she left over left all the leftover muffins for us. And I was all excited because I'm like, oh, killer muffins! So I got home and I eat muffins, and there's like this little apple muffin, and there's a little banana muffin, and chocolate chip muffin, and there's this one that's got some shit in it. I'm not doing is, but I'm like, what is this? And I ask Lizzie, and Lizzie goes, oh, I need the blueberries. I'm like, oh, I'm never, I can't tell you that I've ever had a blueberry muffin. So I am totally going to be brave and try a blueberry muffin. So I eat this little sliver of a blueberry muffin, right? Okay, now, here, now, now for those of you who don't know, I take Ambien every night because I have to I have to sleep because I'm too high strong, like you didn't tell. Anyway, so I take, I take my Ambien, and then I eat this blueberry muffin. All of a sudden, like 10 minutes later, my throat closes up, my eyes swell up, I look like I went 10 rounds with Mike Tyson, and I'm so out of it, and of course I forgot that I take my Ambien, I took two Benadryl. <laughs> and so I'm laying up in bed, and I'm like totally incoherent. I'm like, Aah. I look over at Lizzie and I go, don't go to sleep, please. And so uh, I hope that she will watch me the whole night, and so I'm allergic to blueberries. Have a good time. This story has nothing to do with this next song, so this is a song called Drow County. A million things are weighing down my mind. It's been so long that I've got kids. Life it seems with it all around. It's been so long since rain has kissed the wind.
is a God who I can't hear our cries. When I feel my faith wash away, drop down in the fortune. So uh, anyway, uh, Lady E's little girl, Chloe, made me a uh, tambourine, and I promised her I'd play it tonight. And it's so funny, because I always try to make it a family show, but I always drop a few bunch of F-bombs and stuff, so unfortunately her kids could be like 16 before she even ever gets to see the DVDs of our playing, so really suck. I mean, it stinks. Can you, can you edit cuss words out on this thing? Well, go ahead and start doing that. All right. I mean, I figured you guys are a progressive family. You know, you guys are probably into the whole, like, you know, letting her cuss early. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah, it's cool? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, time for the head gear again. Are you guys having a good time tonight? Have a good time. Y'all look great. God damn it. I'm gonna take I'm, I'm gonna stick all y'all in a suitcase and take y'all to Atlanta, but that's probably illegal. Well, I mean, because how I'd have to get you in the suitcase is probably not cool. I don't know. I mean, can we get y'all in the suitcase? Who wants to move to Atlanta with us? All right, Carl, y'all are coming. Can they come, Lizzie? All right, cool. So what has nine arms and sucks? Death Lover! Yeah! Fucking... <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is all called Crescent City Girl. <laughs>
Are you guys still with us? Are you guys still drinking? Are you going to drink more? Yeah! Till we puke! Dude, that's awesome. So I had these really, really cool flasks made for my band, and it says, it says, it says, Miss G Red, have a good time all the time. Bushmills. Is that the bushmills that you got at your party? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Can't believe you had a That's if you couldn't tell we're a bunch of lushes up there. <laughs> Two for me. Oh, it's gonna be a great show. It's already a great show. You guys are kicking our asses up here. Woo. Scream for us, Chapel Hill! Yeah! Yeah, you guys gotta keep making up, making more noise because if you're done docking, we'll not play next. <laughs> Any docking fans in the house? He won't admit it. He just goes, yeah. Dude, rock. Dude, like rockin' with Doc in. Yeah. This is not a Doc song, though. Did you guys watch after school specials? Duh. <laughs> Don't pick up hitchhikers. Just like wave to them, smile, and then write a song about them later. This is a song called I Wish I Could Run Away. One.
Collective ass has been kicked. I gotta take this shirt off. I'm about to die. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Take it off. Get it. Okay, so here's the here's the shit, folks. You guys gotta fucking stand up and come close and make this picture look bitching because y'all are like our last audience. So everybody. You're all we have left. So everybody, come, so here's the deal, y'all. We got two songs left. You need to make us look bitching. So, oh, we're off. Awesome. Alright, ready? And and and, uh, and nudity is also like encouraged. So, <laughs> except from this. Okay, you, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's right. You guys stay put because we're gonna do another one of these afterwards. <laughs> Oh, we have a stage rushing dog. Does she slam dance? Not really. Which one of you lucky ladies would like this shirt? No, I'm just kidding. No, let's even eBay. eBay. I'm glad that's all I'm worth these days. No reserve. So it's kind of ironic that this song is about uh, a town in, uh, that's now going to be about 30 minutes from where I live. It's a town about Stockbridge, Georgia, where the only thing really to ever come out of Stockbridge, Georgia was collect a soul, and they can have them. <laughs> I actually ran into this guy's drinking in a parking lot one day of a, of a public grocery store. And they were upset that me and my friend didn't know who they were. We actually didn't know who they were, but we pretended to not know them because they were such losers for drinking in a public parking lot. You might want some? Which rails? This is a song about Stockford, Georgia, folks. It's called Ghost Town.